Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion. Today we're back here once again with a brand new video and this time we're bringing you the confirmed official specs of the DJI Beta and I mean we have every single detail that you need to know about DJI's upcoming DJI Beta. But before we get started with today's video, if you're new to the channel, welcome here and don't keep up to date with any upcoming DJI product, whether it is the Air 3, the Inspire 3, and of course the long-awaited DJI Beta, you already know this is the place to come for all the latest updates and news, and also we're currently in the road to 10,000 subscribers, and right now we're getting extremely close from actually reaching that goal, so if you watch today's video and you're not subscribed yet, I invite you to go ahead and join the Drone Motion family, so without any much further ado, Let's just go ahead and crack on with today's video, which is going to be very exciting. At this point in time, we have seen pretty much every single image of the DJI Beta. We've seen it from every angle, but we still didn't know any kind of specs regarding the DJI Beta, and that has just changed today. Thanks to our great friends over at Drone Excel, they were able to get their hands on the full spec sheet of the DJI Beta. So, a huge thanks to them. Check them out guys, they did a phenomenal job and they have been quite reliable in the past so what I'm about to tell you guys, I mean this is pretty much 100% confirmed. So without any much further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video and let's talk about the sensor size that is very important and probably one of the biggest question marks that we had till this point and well this drone is going to be having a 1 over 1.7 inch CMO sensor this is slightly bigger than the half inch sensor that we have with the Air 2 but also is slightly smaller than the 1 over 1.3 inch sensor that we have on the Mini 3. Now we're going to be getting 48 megapixel images our field of view will be 155 degrees. We're going to be having a 12.6 millimeter in 35 millimeters format equivalent. The aperture is going to be fixed. It's going to be an f2.8. Obviously, it's not going to be an adjustable aperture for obvious reasons. It's going to have fixed focus. The focus range will go from 0.6 meters up to infinity. The ISO range will go from 100 to 25,000. So, I mean, we have a lot of stuff to play around with our eyes. So, our video is with the DJ Goggles 2. It's gonna be 4K at 50 and 60 frames per second. We're also gonna be able to record in 2.7K at 56 or 100 FPS. And of course, 1080 at 50, 60, and 100 frames per second. So, the fact that this drone has 4K 60, I mean, that is really nice. Obviously, this drone is not gonna be having 5K. and I think it is really not neat. I think 4K is more than enough. Now, video with the DJ FPV goggles B2, we're gonna be having 4K at 50 and 60 FPS, 2.7K at 50, 60, 100, and 20 FPS, and at 1080p, which is full HD, we're gonna be having 50, 60, 100, and 120 FPS. Now we're gonna be having H.264 and H.26. We're gonna be having only, it's going to be only having a one axis gimbal, but it's gonna be having Rock Steady 2.0 and Horizon Steady and that is going to make sure that we get an absolutely flawless and very smooth shots. Now the weight of the drone, obviously this is not going to be under 249 grams, this drone is going to be coming at 410 grams. So the dimensions that we have them in screen, it is a pretty reasonable size drone, nothing very big, nothing very small. Our speed is going to be, we're going to be having manual mode which is also a, a a lot of stuff that a lot of people were wondering will it have manual yes it will have 27 meters per second in sport 14 meters per second and then in normal mode 8 meters per second now the max hover time which is the maximum flight time will be 18 minutes nothing crazy but for a, a cine group drone that is really good our internal storage has been bumped up to 20 gigabytes so that is quite good to have we're only going to be having downward dual vision sensors and of course our there it is our operation frequency and we're gonna also be having live view mode and with the DJI FPV goggles B2 we're gonna be having low latency mode and we're also gonna be having high quality mode so that you can clearly see the difference between the two and also with the new DJI goggles 2 which are going to be the slimming ones you can clearly see that we're still gonna be having having the same results as with the original B2 goggles now let's talk transmission the transmission will be up to six miles 
on FCC and then in CE will only be two kilometers, which that is a bit of a bummer to be honest with you. Obviously, you're not going to be flying two kilometers out, but the, remember the longer distance range you have, the more stronger signal you're going to be having whenever you're flying in heavy congested Wi-Fi areas. So there, there it is, six miles maximum range. Obviously, we don't need any more than that just because of the flight time. We only get 18 minutes. So that range, I think, is going to be more than enough. So there we have them, ladies and gentlemen. Those have been they confirm the specs for the DJI beta. Let us know down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts? Is this what you were expecting? Is this not what you were expecting? Are you happy with it? With the size of the sensor? Let us know down in the comment section down below. And also, once again, a huge thanks over to our great friends over at Drone Excel. They did an absolutely phenomenal job covering the release of the DJI beta. But that is going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. There we had it, DJI beta specifications. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. But that is going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching and see you tomorrow a brand new video. This is Drone Emotion, signing out.